Young Western Australian grain grower Callum Wesley is finding there is no education like adversity. Growing up through a series of consecutive droughts on his family's eastern wheatbelt farm in Southern Cross, he thought there must be a more efficient way to capture and use diminishing and unreliable rainfall for crop production. He's now developing an innovative seeding concept, dubbed the Wesley Wheel, to improve water harvesting and lift grain yields. Even in a drought, we have enough rainfall to grow a really successful crop. The issue is our efficiency is just not up to standard to what it should be to remain sustainable and that's what I'm trying to change with the concept that we have. The system devised by Callum involves using specific seeding points that increase soil throw, trailed by Wesley wheels that compress this excess soil in the inter-row into two faces, creating a steep incline to support water runoff. So basically we're using a wide press wheel that runs on the inter-row itself and it's creating two linear faces either side of the inter-row that's perfect for water harvesting. And the first prototype that we've built here is just two cones ended on MIG welded together on, each, on themselves. So it's, we've, we've set the angle on the two cones set for ideal what we want the water harvesting to be. Trials of Callum's system at the Wesley family's own property and with Department of Agriculture and Food WA researchers at Meriden in 2013 and 2014 showed there were yield gains to be made with the Wesley wheel, especially at wide row spacings. We've gone out to 15 inch spacings where the conventional's 12 here at the moment and we're trying to get that uh, water harvesting technique as the rain falls on the inter row we're getting it to wash down the two linear faces on the apex into the furrow put the moisture around the root zone or the root ball where we need it most so let's just concentrate on getting it there where we need it and purely just increase our water efficiency and with that we can increase plant growth and therefore plant yield the wider you go the more water harvesting that you can generate and that's what we showed with our results in Meriden last year. We got uh, up to 26% increase in yield by going down to 18 inch spacings. And po post rainfall events of about 12 mils, we were getting an increase of soil moisture uh, of about 11% in the furrow. Trials of the Wesley wheel are continuing this year. This year we've been fortunate enough for GRDC to get on board through the RCSN and we're looking at at this stage repeating our trial sites in Meriden and Southern Cross and um, given some time constraints we're hoping to get across the wheat belt a bit further, hoping to get to Mullawa and maybe even a non-wetting sand somewhere in the central Midlands maybe. Based on the success of the trials to date, the Wesley family plans to use the system on 2,000 hectares of their property this year. If we can bring, if we can water harvest 10 mils at this in early May and water harvest that into 20 mils. Um, that'll be fantastic and if we can do that at the tail end of the year when we're trying to make grain fill, uh, it's certainly going to be advantageous. Callum explains that while it is somewhat of a tailored system, his aim is to make the Wesley wheel easily adaptable to existing seeding equipment. Basically a concept that we just want to be able to slap on pre-existing machines. They're on these gang frames here which have just got four, four U, two U-bolts mounted onto the back. And that way, as I said, pre-existing machines already have their own type of seeding equipment. They can just use this as an add-on. A patent on the Wesley wheel is pending, a process that could take six or seven years to complete. In the meantime, Callum is committed to expanding trials of the system across WA's wheat belt and collating robust data to prove the system. This includes his own farm, where he again saw benefits at the start of seeding in 2015. And now with RTK Auto Steer that's accurate to the inch, we can come back in the furrow and we can, with our knife point, throw that uh, two inches of dry soil that's in the furrow up into the inter-row, get that out of the way and then we're sowing into nice wet dirt, which is what we did. Uh, if we were conventional we would have been seeding straight into dry soil. So, And we're 10 days on, we're still seeding and we're still seeding into moist, moist soil.